check. Mic check. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I meant to go live. <laughs> it's just my mic wasn't working. Uh, anyway, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jade Cocoon. I'm your host, StoopDoob. We've already went through the spider forest. Uh, well, a good chunk of it, but before I can... I'm pretty sure before I can explore everything, I have to go visit Yamu again. Um, so we're gonna do that tonight and see what else is out there. We have two skeleton keys, but nothing to use them on yet. So there is a door in the spider forest that uh, that I I can't go through. So <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I read your comment, Limited, and I was like, what? So confused. I feel. Right on, Joshua. <coughs> so we're 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 uh, we're imprisoning a tree, and it's the tree is like the physical embodiment of the god Elrim. So something really bad is going to happen. All right. So I have. Don't I need Haralko? Or is that for the for the duck limited? Anyway, I've got I've got him. Um. Oh god. Yeah. So I've got the protruding jaw. Yeah, protruding jaw. I've got. Well, I don't need. That's not part of it. Um. That's not part of it. That's not part of it. Where the fuck is it? Shit. Maybe I am missing a bunch of stuff. So. Okay, pedal chew. Where's your combat limited? Six legs, protruding jaw. So I've got protruding jaw. The armored body is in the spider forest. And what is the sharp claws? Is is that uh uh is that a squasp? Maybe not this squasp. This fucking half dead one. Anyway. Uh I don't know what to do with all these dragons. Oh, okay. Are you sure about that, Limited? Well, there's like a list of minions, and I'm sure that guy's on there. Oh, okay. Do I have an Earth minion that I'm working on? Yeah, I think it's this Rigu. This ugly bastard. <laughs> right on, Pageosphere. Rub Doggle Ogle. I don't know. I want to name him, but... 
wonder what, okay, so what did that end up looking, turning into? Fuck, I don't even know how to find him. Oh. That's a fat boy. That's a thick dragon. Alright. You are the base, and I'll add another rock doggle. But oh, magical... Man, I still, I still wish, like, I've said this a couple times now, but they really should have let you carry, uh, four minions. So, limited, this guy has an armored body? It's like a really unique minion. I have, there's not a whole lot of them that are s straight up bugs. a rug doggle. O oh, magical beasts who serve us, merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Reveal to us thy heroic form. I don't know, I was thinking about keeping that guy. I don't know. I mean, I guess, it, well, I wanted to, I think I'm going to mix him with this huge amalgamation of rug doggles. Alright. Rug doggle with another rug doggle. Oh magic Oh you can? Okay. Yeah, you're right, Paige. It would make the game a little too easy. Boondoggle? Haha, <laughs> that'll be the final name. Is that all the is that all the rug doggles? Black beagle, black beagle. Uh, must be. It just looks like a regular regular rug doggle. All right, so I want him as the base with this Rigu Frayed as the secondary. And you can view it, huh? Yeah, that's kind of meh. Be cooler if he had a horn. It just looks like a, I don't know. Let's try this the other way around. No. Okay, whoa. Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. Let's do this Rigu Frayed as the base with the skin of the rug doggle. Let's see what that looks like. Eh. It's just a Chungus. Another Chungus dragon. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we do it? I think he looks cooler the other way around with Rug Doggle as the base. Really, it's neither neither form is really that cool looking. What uh isn't that crab thing, isn't that like a water type? 
limited. bummer <clears throat> all right um do I have any other uh, hang on I'm thinking here So we don't need Heralco anymore. I'm curious, what the fuck would happen if I put Arpatron and OJ together? Damn boy, that's a big beetle. Alright, so what if I put Arpatron as the base and use OJ's skin? What is that gonna look like? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's so derpy with those big eyeballs. Poor Arpatron. Alright, 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 alright. I need to I need to get to move on here. So for now, let's do rug doggle with Rigu Frayed. No, what was the other way I was going to do it? Rigu Freight is the base, right? <laughs> it probably did, Paige. Look at those fucking wings, they're like just stubs, like sticks coming out of his body. Fuck it, let's just, let's do it. Hello? we gonna call this thing? Roggle. Oh no no, boondoggle. What does that mean? <laughs> I've heard that before. Yeah, boondoggle. Alright, so <clears throat> we don't need Heralco. I'm gonna hang on to OGIA just because he seems to be kind of rare. So we have earth, water, air. I could spin that pedal, one of them pedal shoes. Do we, have, we oh yeah we do have a fire monster that we're working on pedal chew he's actually in the party doggle chew Spinning it all. So, Limited, what level would this hidden monster dude be at? Is that going to depend on the level of the, the guys that I have? That I used to make him? What the fuck? 
fuck? That's what I was thinking. Now, while we're here, let's combine the Skawasp and Heralco. That way, Skawasp doesn't look like he has fucking leukemia. Oh, magic! We didn't even look at him. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't. Whoa, hey, that's actually pretty fucking cool looking. Damn, boy. It's like a one. It's like a murder hornet, you guys. Straight up murder hornet. Oh man, I know, can you imagine? It'd be fucking crazy, it'd be kind of scary to see some of the shit that would come out of this game. One day I'll figure out what to do with this OJA. <clears throat> Alright, let's go sell our silk. Maybe pick up some new armor. Uh, limited. I got the freaking. I got the dragon crest. That sword, dude, is ridiculous. I can, like, chop minions right in half. I know, it'd be crazy, Sprite Fox. Probably won't happen, though. We're still waiting on Breath of Fire. Damn, no, I actually did not see that. I am not selling it. I'm keeping that shit. Everyone here has completely changed after the Onibubu attack. Onibubu! It all began when you started going into the forest. Yeah. Oh, there's actually a description. Provides divine protection of the wind. Lightening its user's load. Oh shit, is he really limited? Wow. Ah, what's up, Casp? I'll take your finest armor, please. Wow. Greatest armor ever made. It only gives me four extra defense. More than chainmail. Not much, man. Come back some other time if you need a greater weapon. If I showed him the Dragon Crest Sword, he would NOT- Dad, I just gotta stack the firewood for the furnace in the garden, right? Oh! You came by! How was your quest going? 
I don't trust you, Kelmar. As you can see, I made up my mind to start working here. I too can work as hard as you do, buddy. I don't want my mom to be the only one who's got to deal with my stubborn old man every day. What? Shut that Casp, dude, you need to play this game again. Men work with their hands. And actually, like, Not stick with it. It's, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. I'm getting, like, no views on it, and, like, half my people <laughs> are showing up. But it's so fucking the worth it. The entire village is on edge. I wouldn't be surprised if a riot broke out. Oh, God. And with that outrageous talk of offering a sacrifice... Gobble his sacrifice. I would consider Mabu's. Uh, I might gobble up her sacrifice. But only if she gobbled up mine. I love this fucking music right here. Boom bop. Boom bop. Boom bop. Why does Levant have a well, I was gonna say why does Levant have a magic attack stat, but it kinda makes sense. Protects against cold and battle. Damn, Casp, no, I did not I I did not hear about that. I think I'm gonna equip Silver Crown just for that speed boost. How hard is it to like do the thing, Casp? Yeah, 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 the big head. It's like a praying, praying mantis with a head tumor. Like a little upscaler box thing. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? He's fire. I will fight him with my air minion. That's how strong I am. <laughs> Damn, dude. How much? Aren't those things like thousand? Like, a, like really expensive? Get him, vase dog. Wasted a turn. Oh, yeah. I guess that's not too horrifyingly expensive. Can you cast D? Is it D like something I've always wondered about those upscalers? Is like, would I be able to like use that in tandem with my Elgato to live stream, or would that just not work? I don't know. These capture cards are so damn sensitive. Like this fucking Elgato one, it's about just as reliable as that old Roxio I've been using for the last billion years. You can. It's possible. Bop. 
5x upscaling. <clears throat> so like, okay. So with that thing, I can literally like, I could play this game in like 720p, is that what you're telling me? I need you, come here. Let me smell your hair. I think I need both of these guys. <clears throat> Play Jade Cocoon in 4K. What? I don't know. I think my. I think this. I have an Elgato HD Pro, so it can probably only go up to <clears throat> 1080p. Fuck, man, some of these PS1 games in 1080p would be plenty fine. Isn't? Wait. What? 1200? I was about to ask, is 1280p, isn't that like 4k? Is 1280p even a thing? Am I retarded? Oh shit, they turned my, my boy into stone. Oh god. I think this is how I died last night. I was fighting a group of these guys. You son of a bitch. Oh. God. I feel like if you put... Had a PS1 game running in, in 4K, your fucking eyes would bleed from getting scratched by the pixels. Pretty sure we need both of these. Maybe that, the acorn monster guy. I think that might be for the 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 duck, the secret duck minion. Ah, uh, dude, Saga Frontier in 4K. Now that would be cool. This game, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I'm just happy to have PS3 smoothing. But yeah, the one day it would be fucking cool to get one of them OSCCs for reviews. Casp, your next video, you need to make it in like the LA Noir style. Do it! Oh, there's just it's theirs for the duck. Alright, well I'll just I'll spin him into some silk. Make a little money. Bop. Casp? I, man. Oh shit. No, I didn't want to do this. Where am I going? Well, I don't understand, Casp. Why? Like, what? What about Digimon makes you like Digimon? Like, I'm not even trying to be sarcastic, like, I just, I honestly don't, I don't get it. Like, there's a couple other YouTubers that I follow that are also fans of Digimon. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing into, uh, 
the beetle forest and grab another one of those uh, armored guys. Wait, I think that the air minion limited, I think the air minion works as an armored minion. I don't want to fight you. So that you didn't choose the Digimon life, the Digimon life chose you, huh? Foot attack! There's something... I don't... I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe you're right, man. I don't know. I remember watching one of those Digimon movies that came out back in the day. <clears throat> it was pretty sweet. I enjoyed that. I did have a Digidex. I mean, I I went through a very brief period of time as a, as a kid where I was into Digimon. It just didn't last very long. Digimon World, that one Digimon World JRPG on the PS1 or something was really sweet. Would that not would it not work on a PS3? I have been wanting to get a PS2 for a really long time. Jesus Christ. Wah! Wah! Oh. Man, I'm never gonna get to use Pedal Chew in this place. What's up, anime girl? Dude, honestly, Casp, I would not, I would love to get to that sooner than later. It's, I know, like, the intro to the game is like some short, chubby kid walking around in the rain and he steps on a soda can. And it's so beautiful, it almost blew my mind. Oh, okay, that makes sense, boss. Yeah, it would be cool to get a PS2. I'd want a fat, fat boy PS2, though. <laughs> There's been a couple of times where I've, like, needed a PS2. For, like, B-roll footage purposes. Never had one, though. I called a local, like, retro shop and tried to buy a fucking broken shell one time, but then I was, like, too embarrassed to actually go get it. He's got Muppet Mouth. What, what that mean? I 
I put it on. I don't want your junk off with you. You are swindler. Oh, oh! Now look at that. The ring shines only when you wear it. Ah, man. Oh, yes. Did you bring treasure? I brought treasure. Make promise to Elrond. I cannot take you there. If Elrond find out I told man, he would not be happy. Parasite Eve was seventy nine dollars. What the fuck? Like, damn, dude. Let me look that up on eBay right quick. Parasite Eve, CIB. Holy fuck, dude. Wow, I see a copy of Parasite Eve 2 complete for fucking 250 bucks. Why is this happening? Should I just quit my channel and sell my collection right now? Because this shit is wild, dude. Okay, that has me thinking. Legend of Dragoon CIB. Oh my god. Legend of Dragoon is also ridiculously expensive now. 70 bucks. 120, 72, 150, 54. Wow, holy shit, man. I, I'm shocked. Okay, let me look up one more. Everyone always tells me this is expensive, and it's not. Sino Gears. CIB. Okay. 129 99 225 250 170 What the hell? eBay only has four listings for Xeno Gears. Whoa, guys. Holy shit. Complete in box, Goomba. Yeah, you're right, Bossum. If anything, less than that. Like, I feel like it was like 25 bucks for a copy. Sui Koden 2 CIB. Six hundred bucks. Holy shit. There's literally only one listing. There's literally only one copy of Sui Code N2 for sale on eBay. And it's for six hundred dollars. What is going on in the retro market, dude? Someone's fucking like some built like millionaire hedge fund kid is like buying up every video game off eBay or something. This doesn't make any sense. Uh Lunar 2. CIB. 185, 269, 298, 300. Okay, that's about normal for Lunar, but there's still like hardly any listings. Four, there's only four listings. Valkyrie Profile CIB. 650 bucks, 800 bucks. 
Holy crap, dude. There's like nothing here. Tales of Destiny 2 CIB. 400 bucks, only one copy. 320. 250. Okay, there's more. There's a couple copies. 800 bucks. That one's brand new, sealed. 400 bucks. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh my god. That is crazy, guys. That is outrageous. I'm cashing out, y'all. I'm gonna buy a goddamn Lambo. Fuck Dogecoin. Y'all should have been investing in retro video games. That's not financial advice. Where are you going, dummy? Dude, for real though, I want to know what is going on with the retro game market. Like, how is Legend of Dragoon like selling for over a hundred dollars? There's no way those prices are gonna last. Doggle chew. I'm gonna have to hurt ya. Yeah, Bossom, that's wild, man. Xenogears and Legend of Dragoon, I like, I, I feel like. Just like a year ago, those were, those games were like, you could get them for under, probably like $35 or below. It could be possible. I actually, it's funny, this morning I was actually watching, um, oh, I don't remember the name of this YouTuber. He's kind of a scrawny dude with a mustache. Uh, he always talks about Sony PlayStation related crap. Uh, and he was talking about GameCube collecting and how, like, the prices have gotten ridiculous. But he didn't mention anything about PlayStation... PlayStation stuff. Um, but yeah, dude, it's probably, in, like, the whole market's probably fucked up. Like, some, some, somebody cashed in their Dogecoin or their GameStop money and just went fucking apeshit and probably bought a bunch of everything. <clears throat> One thing's for sure, I definitely don't feel like I wasted a bunch of money on extremely expensive video games that I still haven't played. Bop. Bop. Alright boys and girls, here's tonight's meme, I'll be back in just a few.
What's up, guys? Had to get me a, a nice Wagyu steak and uh, some uh, some caviar now that I've recently come into a significant amount of wealth. I'm just kidding. I'm not selling my games. Not for nothing. But damn, that was eBay prices. Those are crazy. Hopefully there's some different minions in here. Damn, boy! A shadow snake, man. Rashab. Ow. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm well aware of that. Everything I was looking at was, was black label. Everything I own is black label. For that very reason. Oh shit, yeah, okay. I should probably go back and hit up the beetle forest, huh? Uh, not much really, Wiz. I just opened this door in the spider forest. Uh, I don't even know if you know the door I'm talking about, but there was a door that I couldn't go through. I had to bring that little fuzzball man uh, another treasure. All right, limited. What what is the uh, <laughs> the highest level armored? minion that I can grab right now with the forest I have access to. Bop. I know, dude, Wiz. It was a random drop and it's like one of the most powerful weapons in the game. I can like one hit kill almost anything with Levant. Dude, armored core is so good. I've never, like, had an opportunity to play one of those games. Uh, like, when they first came out, to enjoy any of, like, the online content. But, uh... Yeah. Really good series. Alright, I'm gonna hit up the Dragonfly Forest. Grab it. I think I only need one minion out of there, right? I'm only missing one, aren't I? Well, I'm missing two, but there's... I think the last one I can only get later on in the game. That's what I'm looking for. Shit. Hopefully I can just capture it straight out. It's a little BB. Little BB guy. So, with Twingo limited. What happens if I merge him with something else, but I use him as the base? <clears throat> um, honestly, Anime Girl, I feel like they're going to go lower. I think that they're going to drop. There's no way they'll stay that high forever. Dude, visit the website Vim's Lair? What is that? Mm. 
No, I'm not. I prob no, not definitely not right now with the prices as high as they are. But I have a lot of the really expensive, like hard to find PS1 games. Uh, ROMs. Ah, yeah. I'll I'll emulate some stuff. All my PS1 stuff I do. I like to do that on physical, physical media. Some, you know, have something to collect. Physical memento. You're gonna buy Suicoden 2? I would not do it right now. <laughs> I don't even, you probably wouldn't even be able to find any copies of it on eBay. might want to drop off all your minions. Why? Why? Why would I want to do that? Like, actually drop them off with, uh... Mabu? Limited to respond. At the end of this, you only have one chance to use Mabu. I don't understand Limited. So you just, you're talking about, you're talking about, like, the, the captured monsters that I have. Not, you're not talking about unequipping my three minions that I've been using. Is that right? Gotcha. Honestly, I don't know if I can really predict when they're going to go down. Um, I'd say probably, like if I had to guess, I'd say probably within the next six months. Tormented, we pray. Grant us the beasts of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Does my mudda turn into stone? Oh, I just kind of spoiled that for those of you that haven't played. Let's go talk to mudda while we're here. It could be the last time. You know... There is a marsh in the spider forest where Alcana drowned. There stands a huge tree said to be the incarnation of Elrum.
There is much I needed to teach her, both as her mother-in-law and as a Nagi woman. I wanted to let her know that- Okay, yeah, we've already heard all this. Bye! Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, the reason for them dropping is more than likely, like, it's probably gonna be like people realizing that people aren't going to pay that kind of money, and they'll slowly drop. That, or like, more copies being put up on the market. You know, if everyone's selling a game for 250 bucks, and then... Someone's really hard up to make some money and they sell it for a hundred. Hundred dollar one's gonna sell instantly. Well, joke's on you, Limited. I have no money. So, no need to shop. It's all good, man. I don't have any money anyway. You're gonna get the you're gonna get the spanking with the big stick. Hwa! I just spaced out. Where the where the fuck am I? Oh, I just started back in. The, okay, we're in the beginning of the uh, spider forest. No, we're not. Squarmge. I know it is, dude. I've gotten two of those uh, great walnuts. That's it. Why, why does my, why does my, pe uh, my pedal chew not look like the dude on the game case? That's false advertising. giant buck teeth. Art versus game. Yeah. I don't know. He, in, on the, on the, in the art, he looks like he has a big, giant, long fucking tongue.
I don't know, I'm wasting time. All right. I have never played Fatal Frame. That sounds really familiar, though. Excellent liquor. I'm kind of surprised that they're allowed to use the word liquor. Looks like a job for Arpatron. Is Fatal... What kind of game is Fatal Frame? heard of it. Oh, the weapon is a camera. That's not the game where you have to use voice commands to, like, direct that girl through some kind of facility, right? While she's getting chased by shit. Sounds like such a weird game. All right. Man, I don't know if I want to go that way. That looks like it's the end. that way? Is that going to advance the story? Oh, it's a chest. Okay. Alright, I'll go that way. Dude, <laughs> yeah, speaking of fourth wall breaks, something I really want to play someday is that Dreamcast Seaman game. That would be so fun and so weird and so 90s. Dude, Seaman. Uh, it's like, okay, it's a game and it stars Leonard Nimoy and he starts out as like a little tiny single celled organism. And you talk to him and interact with him through a mic with your Dreamcast controller. And he like eventually turns into like, like a person, I think. Like, I don't know, he slowly evolves over time. And becomes a more a more complex like creature. I don't know. It's really weird. It's like a Tamagotchi on steroids. 
Yeah, it's like I don't you can't even really put that game into a genre. Oh, this is a good opportunity for pedal chew. Yeah, dude, Dreamcast, they're a little they're a little finicky. Uh it's almost kind of like Spore, yeah. Do you think it was an issue with your TV or an issue with, like, the Dreamcast cable? Because the cable on Dreamcast, like the AV cable, is really weird. Oh, I got a great walnut. Like, the first time I tried to play, uh, play my Dreamcast, for some reason it, it would only output in black and white. It was really weird. Man, I wish those great walnuts gave you more than two extra, extra HP. That's kind of lame. So yeah, I'm coming along here thinking I'm going to get a chest. Or, it's like an advance the story, but really it's just a fucking chest. It's crazy. really tanks my magic attack. Oh well, fuck it. I don't really think I'll ever use any magic attacks anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really too familiar with the library of Dreamcast games. To be honest, I'm not... I'm not even sure. <laughs> I think really the only thing on the Dreamcast that I want to play one day is Shenmue. That's fucking 90s right there, I'll tell you what. That's the most 90s, 90s thing in the world. Yeah, I think there's some kind of a HD remaster on PS4. I can't... They made a third Shinmu game, which is really surprising. How do you how do you guys say this thing's name? Squamoj. You're a fan of Grandia, Josh. Okay. Did you check out my Grandia review I did? You totally should, man. I wasn't really a huge fan of Grandia. I don't know why. Like, I don't know. I mean, looking back on it, it's a pretty cool game, but. I don't know, something about it didn't didn't really sit right with me. I don't really know how to explain it. It just felt like a never-ending dungeon run with no break. Oh my god. That is a fucking bah! Ah, back to the beginning. So lame.
it's all right, it's all right. We'll make it back there pretty quick. You bought the Grandia remaster? Dude, you know what is like, kind of has the same vibe to Grandia, but is like way better? Is Thousand Arms. You ever play Thousand Arms, Joshua? The combat's terrible. The combat was actually pretty enjoyable in Grandia. Like the concept of your characters freely kind of moving around the battlefield and stuff. I really like that. Now that these minions have beaten me up and kicked me out of their forest, I'm going to come slap them with this giant sword and kill them all. The, like it's the, all like most of these minions in here are completely unavoidable. Like they're in the, all the choke points. Get him, boy! A limited. I know that, like, if I wanted to get more skills on my pedal chew, I would have to merge. I don't know. Is there a way to? Get... Is there a way to get more skills on him without changing the way he looks? I don't want to change the way he looks. He's beautiful. What the fuck? Another another skeleton key. I know, dude. The, the music in this forest is, is what makes it so good. Alright, Arpatron, I choose you! Bummer. I'm good. I'm a. Um, <clears throat> whenever uh, when it's time to do the the uh, the Nether forests, are the monsters in there going to be the same as what they were the first time I came through, or will they be like higher level versions of the, those original monsters? Or how how does that work? Because I know that right now, if I add anything. I don't know, if I add anything after I finish this forest, I'm not going to have access to what I need to get him to look like his original self. They're different? Oh, dude, what? That sucks. Fuck. 
So will I ever run into like a high level Skyeb at some point? Fuck, I didn't want to kill it. Yeah, damn it, limited. I don't know what to do. Whoa, dude, he's tweaking right out. What the fuck did he just do to me? I'm gonna kill him, aren't I? Ah, fuck. Mardrag is too powerful. All right, limited. I think. So after I do this limited, will I still be able to... Yeah, never mind, you just answered my question right there. Man, there's like no way to capture these fuckers. They're like, they're so weak. Everything I do will kill them. Typically, yeah, that that is the case, right? It's not. It's sometimes it's a significant difference. Uh, other times, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Um, you know, most of the super valuable games out there don't even have a green label version. But yeah, I mean, black labels are they're, they're always going to be more valuable. I need to get, gather up some fire minions. Josh, enjoy your food. Ah, no, you're a green guy. I was fighting a bunch of fire versions of you. What happened?
Alright, so limited. Two identical minions of the same element. Will both of them have the same skills, usually? Is it safe to assume that that is how that works? So two different min two different minions of the same species, the same element, and the same level can potentially have different abilities and spells and specials and stuff. Oh my god, I only have 38 HP. I'm dead. God damn it. Oh, okay. Alright, that's what I was thinking would be the case. Holy shit, dude, what in the fuck? I didn't just lose Arpatron forever, right? Now, is that, isn't that thing just like a higher level version of a Petal Chew Limited? I know, dude, it does. Yeah, Mabu. That's some sad shit, man. She's dying, guys. She's dying. What did I do to my poor Petal Chew? Oh god, he's so ugly! He's all eyeballs. He's all eyeballs. Jesus Christ, he's one giant fourth degree burn.
O magical beasts who serve us, merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Now let's see how ugly he is. Oh god. His wings are gone. Whoa. What if I mix the OJ with the tree guy? What the fuck does that make? Oh god. He's on his hind legs for some reason. Oh, dude, he's got like extra little arms coming out of him. That's like some Chernobyl shit. Now, what if we put an Embla? An Embla? What the? What is this? Oh, that's my mutant. Oh. Oh. Oh my lord. That is fucking nightmare fuel, dude. It's a tripod. That's actually pretty fucking cool. I'm gonna keep that one in the back pocket. All right, now limited. Th I think uh, all I need is a little wasp boy, don't I? And I'm good, right? Really? So I gotta put a pedal tube with it? And a, uh... A Pataimo? Uh, that's just like a map. I don't know, it's just like a little screen to select what forest to go to. But it's all fancy, looks like a world map. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Alright, so I need... I'm, how many how many minions can Mabu even hold? Because I feel like it might be a good idea for me to farm some of these. That way I can always get them back to how I want them to look. This is like the one and only minion that like I truly give a damn about. As far as cosmetically. Limited, did you see that fucking mutant bug I made with the tree people? The tree dude and the, the Ojai? That was cool looking. Oh my god. Back it up! Back it up! Back it up! This dude's gonna push me all the way out the... Okay, he's gone. Oh shit, you gotta have 12 open thought uh, slots. Shite. I 
need a, I need a... Actually, I'm retarded. I can, I can use the, I, if I get this guy... Ooh, there we go, Fireboy. Back home, bring it back home. That was a weird beep. Whoa, I'm backing it up. Dark Forest, gotcha. Alright, limited. <clears throat> Want you to tell me if this thing would be worth making. Unfortunately, it's a damn water beast. Which isn't cool. It's a bottle of Mountain Dew. Revealed. <laughs> What's up, Karma? What's new, man? All right, we're gonna mix Petal Chew with Batiamel. Gonna kill our stats a little bit. Yeah, there's my boy. Guess that means you're switching over to Diet Mountain Dew. Go ahead and combine these two emblems. How does that make what make me lose a defense point? What the fuck? Oh, they actually have slightly different stats. Mountains do too. Oh, magical beasts who serve us, merge.
check out this fucking monstrosity. Oh, I'm gonna make it. Fuck it. It's too cool not to make. It's like all limbs. Careful. All right, let's see if that giant side quest thing I just made myself go on did anything for Petal Chew. Well, I got one new ability. It's a good one, though, so... I'd call that a success. <clears throat> yeah, my girlfriend actually did the a keto diet. Yeah, it's, like, shocking how fast and how much weight you lose. Probably not, it's, I don't think it's very good if you have any kind of heart conditions, though. I don't know. I think I got the strong spell from one of these doggle shoes. Actually, I, I think I went into Dragonfly Forest at the very beginning, or like when I started looking for shit. Didn't I? I don't know. I don't remember. Run! It takes too damn long. I'm just gonna get through this cutscene and call it good. I mean, my pedal too, he's pretty powerful, dude. Yeah. 
All right, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock out this uh, this big point of no return thing we got going on. They never respawned. I gotta do something with Mardrick at some point. He's so ugly. lead somewhere? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Back up, back up. Oh no. I probably missed something. Oh yeah, cutscene time. Tree's very phallic shaped. Atonement for the flesh. Our mouths are cursed with bitterness. Our hands are quick to spill blood. Our path is ruin and misery. Jibara's men came and took Mother Garai away. Why did they take her away? What do they mean by a sacrifice? What did you promise at the Hall of Judgment? No! I beg you, please save Mother Garai.
What happened in the forest? Did you really imprison the divine tree? That trembling, the forest, it's weeping. I did a bad thing. We should prepare for the worst. Our enemy. Judgment now. I'm sure she's there. Please hurry. All right. Hate to end on a cliffhanger, but <laughs> that is gonna be a wrap for me tonight, guys. I will catch you all tomorrow night. Same stew time and same stew channel. Let's find out what the hell is going on at the village of Cyrus. Who will survive? Tune in tomorrow to find out. You guys all have a good one and I will see you in the next one.